Warning, warning, prepare for morning announcements in three, two, one. Hi, my name is Ruby Rico. Welcome to the morning announcements. Let's get started. The 125th day of school is coming up. So Fremont has put a challenge up for you guys. The advisories with the highest attendance from March 8th to 19th will receive a certificate from Panda Express. And the winners of the Panda Express certificate will be announced on March 22nd. So good luck. Don't forget to enter the poetry challenge. This challenge will run until March 25th. The words for this challenge include power, desperate, and thunderstorm. Thank you. It is Women's History Month. Who am I? March 1st through March 31st is Women's History Month where we pay tribute to generations of women who have positively influenced and enriched our nation and society. The Women's History Month theme for 2021 is Valiant Women of the Vote, Refusing to be Silent. Who am I? I was born on October 11th, 1884 in New York, New York. I attended a boarding school in London and met headmistress Mary Silverett whom I greatly admired. Our family moved to Washington, D.C. in 1913, where Franklin was appointed Assistant Secretary of the Navy. On March 17, 1905, I met Franklin D. Roosevelt, and by 1916, we had six children. During my 12 years as First Lady, I was an advocate of liberal causes. I am Eleanor Roosevelt. A quote from Eleanor is, a woman is like a tea bag, you never know how strong it is until it is in hot water. Hey, did you know that Fremont has its own Twitter page? Yep, we do. If you're on Twitter, follow us at Fremont Path for all kinds of updates and school stuff. Got Talent? Audition for Fremont's Got Talent. Open to all students and staff, musicians, singers, dancers, actors, comedians, magicians, and etc. Submit your online video to our Schoology group. Submit the video by April the 2nd. And here is Mr. Gary Bay, and he will talk to us about mental health in these difficult times. Hi, Fremont. This is Mr. Garibay, your friendly school social worker straight from outer space. Uh, today, I want to show you all a short video clip. Hopefully, you all will enjoy it. I asked, uh, well, I want to introduce myself. Part of what I do, my main job at the school is to ensure that you're doing well emotionally, that you and your family are doing well emotionally. Um, please take a snap uh, of this. I also do some of these other things, including uh, referring to community mental health resources. I want to share a little bit about what mental health is. It includes our emotional, how we feel, psychological, what we think, uh, and our social well-being. It impacts how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Mental health is important during every single stage of your life. Your mental health is just as important as your physical. So keep that in mind. You know, if you if you are constantly taking care of your physical health, be aware that it's also important to take care of your mental health. So I asked a few of you, a few uh, students to submit some questions that you might have that are mental health related. So here's three questions or four questions that the uh, students turned in. So how do I know if someone or I have mental health disorder and should I see if I have a mental health disorder? Definitely be on the lookout for some of these warning signs. I'm just gonna go through a few warning signs, but please take a picture of this. Some of, some of the warning signs that you should uh, be aware of, that are important to be aware of, is if you have been feeling sad or anxious or withdrawn for more than two weeks. If you have thoughts of harming yourself or have thoughts of harming someone else. If there's drastic changes in mood, behavior, or personality, or even sleeping habits. Happiness at everyone. 
be aware of those things. Excessive use of alcohol or drugs, intense worries or fears, difficulty concentrating. So these are some of the more uh, bigger warning signs, but please be looking out for these warning signs. Um, and if they're messing with different parts of your life, including your school, if you work, if you're not working as well as you used to, you're not learning as well as you used to, you're not getting well, well with your family and friends, consider those also warning signs. Um, why do teens go through mental health issues? It's, it's a difficult time in your life and you're going through a lot of changes, not only physically, but also developmentally in your brain. So there's, there's, a, there's a lot to it. And then you're also learning how complex this world is and that can be overwhelming at times, just learning how this world operates. And um, yeah, so those are some of the reasons why teens go through mental health. Um, where can you go to ask for help? So if you need help, there's a few resources that I can prepare for you all. On the left-hand side, you have the LAUSD Student Family Wellness. You can call there Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. You can call me, text me, email me Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. Uh, you can also call these two phone numbers in case of a mental health crisis or 24 seven. So it doesn't matter the time, doesn't matter the day. You can call them and they should be able to help. Uh, please join me next week as we embark to a new journey and answer more questions. And y'all, please take care of yourself. Y'all have a good one. Bye, bye Pathfinders, bye Fremont. And those were our morning announcements. Remember, find a path or make one. Free my style. Free my style. Oh, oh, oh.